So most of my eyeshadow brushes are sitting right here in this little container. And I do have a lot, a lot of them. So I guess not to waste any time, let's go ahead and get started. I'm probably not going to get rid of a lot of them because I already went through them a while back. Um, this is Coastal Sands, just your eyeshadow brush. I'm going to hold on to this. It's pretty large though, so it's not easy to apply your eyeshadows. But it's just good for that like really light color that you apply all over your lid. So I'm going to hold on to this. Uh, this I recently got by that same interesting company. It's Angled Eye Brush. It's actually really, really cute. Uh, so I'm going to hold on to this. And your e.l.f. angled eye brush. I think I've used it a lot before, so I'm going to hold on to this too. Next, we have Coastal Sands again. Eyeshadow brush, definitely will hold on to this. You can never get enough of your eyeshadow brushes. Um, this is e.l.f. C eyeshadow brush. It's really, really dense, so it's not super easy to apply your eyeshadow with, but I guess I'm just going to hold on to it for now. But yeah, it's like unlike your their dollar line or mineral line, this is actually the studio line. And this is pretty kind of rough and really dense. But I always find myself looking for these eyeshadow brushes. So I'm going to hold on to that. A brush from this Royal and Langnickel company. It's a tiny little eyeshadow brush. You know, you do need those two. So I'm going to hold on to that. Um, this is, oh yeah, this is like an eyeliner brush. I'm going to hold on to this too. I'm going to toss this because I don't even know what I would use this for. Oh, this is my Sigma blending brush. I love these. This is like literally the best blending brush I've ever tried. So I'm keeping that. This is the next favorite blending brush that I've recently discovered thanks to either Glam Pack or Glossy Box. But this is the Lux blending brush, tapered blending brush. And oh, this is great. Really, really good brush too. Keeping that. Um, this is Soho. I forgot where I got this from, but um, it's an interesting shape. I don't think I have a lot of brushes shaped this way, so I'm keeping that. And I'm not doing so well. Um, Oh, this is another Royal and Link Nickel Company. Um, this is actually pretty rough. Like to blend with. It's like really long too. Um, I'm going to get rid of it. And what is this crown brush, blending brush? It's very small and soft. But I think I'm going to hold on to it because I remember liking using this for my crease. Uh, blending Fluff by Crown Brush. I am going to hold on to this. Oh, this is like the no brand name brush from eBay for a dollar that I got. It actually is not a good quality brush. After a few washes, the bristles are coming off and it's actually the bristles are getting really rough. So I'm going to get rid of this. Oh, here's another one of those angle brushes. Um, I have yet to discover what to use this for. So I'm going to do a little research and this is by Coastal Sands. I'm going to hold on to this elf a smudge brush from their dollar line. It's like this nice short and the handle's actually really loose, so I'm going to get rid of that. Lanmere, the company from eBay that I got. Um, it's basically a, like a pretty good blending brush. I see another one of those, and this is even larger. So I'm probably going to keep one and get rid of the other. Actually, for some reason, like this one better than this one. So, yeah, I'm going to hold on to this and get rid of that. Um... Next we have, I don't know where this is from, probably one of the subscription boxes, but a pretty decent brush for, um, looks like either smudge or uh, blending. So I'm going to hold on to this. This is just like a clear mascara wand. I used, I, I used this one for uh, brows, so I'm going to hold on to this. Okay, next we have, I actually never use these, these supposedly are concealer brushes. This is even smaller one, so I'm going to get rid of 
this. I ha actually haven't even used them. This is another brush from that company. Uh, and for some reason, I really don't like their brushes. And I think it's after I washed them, they kind of became really rough. No, so I'm going to get rid of it because I feel like it's way too rough for, for your eyes. So I'm tossing that. Next, we have another one from eBay. This is like a blending brush. Um, this is actually a lot better than the previous one I showed you, but the bristles are starting to come off also after a few washes, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And again, look-see blending brush, very tiny, small one. I'm gonna hold on to this. ELF Professional Eye Crease Brush. I'm gonna hold on to this. I actually use it a lot. And this is just, I think I got it in one of the like sets from Clinique or something and I actually really like to use it for under my eye if I'm going to apply some eyeshadow instead of like an eyeliner on the lower lids. So I'm gonna hold on to this. This is another one, the crown brush that I used for that same reason or even sometimes just applying really dark color into my crease. Angle brush by Starlux. I'm going to hold on to this because I like to use this for either my eyebrows or eyeliner. Uh, this is an e.l.f. professional smudge sponge. This is really old and I'm going to toss this. Another one of those little pink ones. I actually really like this for eyeshadow brush. It's nice and soft. So I'm going to hold on to this. And concealer brush. I think I got it from Walmart or Target. I'm not going to use this. So I'm going to get rid of it then we have um, can I read this small print um some type of brush from paris and it's your eyeshadow brush so i'm gonna hold on to this this is one of those glossy box brushes that we got a while back when they first started and this is like a really large <laughs> blending brush but i actually really like using it for multiple purposes so i'm gonna hold on to that um, this is like an angle brush from that kit that I got from Groupon and I haven't used this like ever so I'm gonna get rid of it Just a few um, angle brushes from here one by Jula so I'm holding on to this and one by glam bag actually two brushes by glam bag so uh, angle brush by glam bag holding on to this and eyeshadow small eyeshadow brush by glam bag I use this a lot I have hooded eyelids and so I cannot really apply shimmery color all over my lid because it makes the hood look even bigger. So what I do is I apply a matte color all over my lid and then I just go in with this tiny little brush and I apply it onto like the very small area of my lid that is still visible. Um, I, I apply the shimmery color because I feel like it kind of lightens the whole look up and it brightens your eyes. So um, yeah, this is my lifesaver. I'm definitely holding on to this. I actually have a lot of these Luxie brushes and thanks to my beauty subscription services, these are really, really nice brushes. And this is just tapered blending brushes, um, different sizes. I'm going to definitely hold on to this. Scone blending brush. Actually, I haven't even used this yet. I feel like I recently got it in one of the subscription services. I'm holding on to this. And definitely holding on to my julep brushes, all of them. This is just another blending brush. Oh, I have a lot of those apparently. And that's why I wanted to do this video because I need to know what I have so I, that I can use it, you know, because when everything's just packed in there, I really don't even know what I have. This is like a really large angle brush. It's a little too big for eyebrows or um, creating like a nice eyeliner line. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. Um, this is something recent that I ordered from AliExpress. I actually had like one dollar off uh, one on one coupon, so I got this for a cent, one cent. And it's like when you apply your mascara, if you have any clumps, basically to declump your eyelashes, and it really works well. So I love this product. I'm gonna keep that. This is another one of those like concealer brushes. I don't use them, so I'm gonna get rid of them. Um, Elf. Blending brush. I'm gonna hold on to this. This is super old, but I still really really like it. It was a dollar and a great great brush um, Oh, yeah, definitely One of my favorite eyeshadow brushes. This is your elf dollar line brush and I'm going to hold on to this um, This is my newest brush Sigma uh, medium angled shading brush 
and I'm going to hold on to this. This is from that mystery box. And if you guys hear snoring in the background, it's my dog. <laughs> Don't get distracted. So um, this is Julep and it's one of those concealer brushes again. I really, really don't like them, but this is Julep and it's super, super expensive. So I think I'm gonna hold on to this because I got rid of the rest of them. And another Sigma blending brush. Again, out of all the bl blending brushes, Sigma is my favorite. And I've tried their eyeshadow brush and oh my God, this thing is amazing. Basically, the Elf, Elf, which is a dollar, and Sigma, which is a lot more, uh, are two of my two of my favorite eyeshadow brushes. And the blending brush too. Luxie and Sigma are my top, top, top blending brushes. Um, this is Coastal Scent. I'm gonna keep this. This is like really hard though. So, but this is a good shading brush. It's a little thicker though, uh, but I just recently got this, so I'm gonna hold on to this Coastal Scent. And another Luxe Tapered Blending Brush. I feel like I have a lot of them. Here's another one. It seems like they're the same brushes, same number, but one is a lot smaller than the other. But this is probably just newer. I probably just recently got this, whereas this is older. So it looks like it's fluffier, but it's basically the same brush. Um, this is L'Oreal. It doesn't even, it's so old, it doesn't even have like the letters anymore. I've used it for so many years, probably like 10. It still works really well. It's like a really good quality eyeshadow brush. None of the bristles came off for 10 years I've been washing it. And I'm gonna hold on to this because it's just great. Um, these two brushes I will probably get rid of. Again, that concealer brush I'm not using. And this little, I used to like um, eyeliner brushes like that. I actually stopped using them. I just like my angled brushes a lot more. So I'm gonna get rid of this. And along with that one, I'll probably just get rid of this one too. I'm going to hold on to this brush because um, it's like your brow brush and I tend to use it a lot. This is by e.l.f. Getting rid of this Glam Bag um, concealer one because again, I tend to have a lot of them, but I really don't use them. So I'm going to get rid of it. And this is your professional concealer brush by e.l.f. And getting rid of this too. Oh my goodness, some more of these concealer brushes. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of them because I don't use them. Keeping this Jenny angled brush. Studio Tools, actually really cheap brush. $2.50 I believe, but it's really, really good. I had it for years and still still maintains its quality. So I'm keeping that. Oh, this is like a bigger concealer brush. Pure Minerals. Oh, I'm gonna have to hold on to this because this is a good brand. Vasanti. This is eyeshadow? What? It says eyeshadow brush. Oh my god, maybe all of those the ones that I just got rid of could be used for eyeshadows, but it's like really flat. I don't know. I guess I'm gonna hold on to it and try it. And this is Soho. Because you see, some of the ones say concealer and others say eyeshadow. So. I'm going to probably get rid of this one because I'll probably get look through the brushes and if I haven't used them or if somebody wants to like take them and wash them, um, I'll probably just, you know, give them away. This is your Glam Bag blending brush. I'm going to hold on to this one. Oh my goodness. All right. What do we have here? This is another one of those like this interesting company. And then it says Paris in here. Okay. Smart brush. I'm going to keep that. Going to keep this glam bag angled brush and keeping this crease brush. I think this is by Studio Tools too. This is like another really cheap one that I got from Walmart or Target, but it works really well. It's very nice and soft, great quality brush. Next, I have this says just 224, and I don't even know what company this is from, but it looks pretty good. Like nice blending brush. This is Wet and Wild. I believe this is either concealer or eyeshadow brush. But this is like pretty rough, so I'm going to get rid of this. And getting rid of this glam bag, little tiny brush. And keeping this Sigma, oh, Sigma tempered blending brush. 
All right, guys, just bear with me just a few more that I just kind of picked up from my um, like different drawers because they wouldn't fit in here. Um, I have a few more of these Landmere brushes, and I'm going to probably get rid of all of them because I haven't used them. They're actually brand new. So by getting rid of, I mean I'll sort through the ones that I will not use and I'll just probably go ahead and give the ones that are in really good shape to somebody who will use them actually. All right, another angled brush. I have plenty of those now, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. Oh, this is Avon Round Shadow Brush. Actually, I used to love this brush, but the handle's getting ready to come off. And I just don't like the, the shape here because it just makes it really hard to store. It takes up a lot of space, so I'm gonna get rid of it. And oh, this is another like fake Mac one that is just not good at all, so I'm going to get rid of it also. All right, guys, this is the end result of my makeup brushes declutter. I do have a lot less now, and so it's a lot clearer to spot the ones that I need. It has like four different compartments, and I organize them by basically like some random ones, the shaders, the eyeliner brushes here. Um, I have a lot of blending brushes, but I do use that a lot. So, and then I have my eyeshadow brushes, which, and then uh, these are just random like um, brow and eyelash brushes here and this this probably goes here now let's see my face brushes right here so my two kabuki brushes that I kept and then I decided to actually separate them into two different containers so this will be for eye brushes and this will be for just like all of my face brushes and I have a few of these fluffy fan brushes then we got some blush brushes, then we got some like random ones here and like um, nice fluffy powder brushes. All right guys, so clearly I'm getting rid of a lot of brushes, probably a lot more than I anticipated, but this is for the best. It'll make my life easier when I, you know, I'm in a rush in the morning, I don't have to like really look around and fish around for my brushes, I'll just kind of be able to clearly spot them and I'll probably just give a lot of them, uh, you know, away to people that, that want it, actually. Um, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I will talk to you later. Bye.